Hey there, I was going just a quick video today to show you what I'm filming here. I've got the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro sitting on a small rig tripod and I've been filming um, butterflies emerging from the chrysalis because I've been reading demonic butterflies for a while. People on my channel will have seen things over the last couple of years. As I just said, I've been using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, which is an excellent camera for doing this because you can easily ride the shutter and ISO to match changing lighting conditions, which is something I've got. It also makes it very easy to focus on your subject by being able to zoom in over here and then hit the autofocus up on the side and it does a quick hunt and gets it pretty spot on every time. Likewise, the auto exposure is really good for getting the lighting just right for capturing the absolute best amount of data that you can from the image you're recording. The tripod I'm using is the Small Rig Selection PT10, which is a really, really small portable tripod, and it comes with this fantastic head. Even though it's smaller, it can easily handle the couple of kilos of weight of the Blackmagic camera. It's in a small rig cage as well, and the LensGo microphone is what I just keep on top of here all the time because that gives me really great sound, even in wind, and always great audio levels. But I've been sitting out here for three days watching one specific chrysalis and um, it finally just emerged so let's have a look at that footage. Ryan Little. <laughs> One of the really cool things about the Monarchs is that if you get them when they're just emerged, you can get them on your hand and they'll pick up your scent and then be quite friendly with you afterwards, which is very cool. So, um, yeah, I really enjoy doing this. And uh, you can actually, sometimes I take them inside if the weather's not particularly great and let them dry out overnight in there and then release them in the morning. 
and uh, they'll quite happily just sit on your keyboard or something like that where the uh, warmth from the keyboard's nice and warm. I just like looking at the things there. Absolutely beautiful little critters, aren't they? I've just put this fella on one of these leaves in here. I grow Cape gooseberries up around the swamp plants because um, it shelters them quite a bit. They grow very nicely together. That's not the one that just emerged, by the way. That's this one over here. And um, I've got another chrysalis just in here that's almost ready to go. And there's another one down here somewhere. It's actually quite surprising what sort of distance they'll cover as caterpillars um, before they form a chrysalis. I've had a couple that have been sitting on the swamp plants down here that have gone all the way up into this tree and leaves over on the side here. That one emerged yesterday afternoon. Um, another one all the way over onto the fence and others that have gone all the way up onto the wall on the side of this building here. So yeah, there's a lot of them just down here, but a whole heap of them as well. Just they tend to wander all around the place and um, they hide quite well. I also forgot to mention before the lens that I'm using, which is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f1.8 um, art lens. It's a brilliant lens for doing this kind of work, and it pairs up with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras absolutely beautifully. And I just realised some people might not actually know what a Cape Gooseberry is. That's these things here. Yeah, here's one here, and I'm just going to try and open that up one-handed. They turn brown and the case goes all papery. And um, there's a delicious berry inside it like that. Mm. 